Hello everyone, Nitro here. You might know me from HOC or Bandai Namco's National Championships. Um, the US East Coast National Champion. Yes, that's the formerly known as Nitro Bros. Um, I'm going to be doing a Janumba guide showing you all the good and bad stuff about him. Be sure to subscribe to Dash Fights for more videos like this of me, and we'll see you in the video. Okay, first thing we're getting down is Janemba's button game. But Janemba's buttons are really good. He has good frame data with it, and they hit really far. This button, his 5M, hits extremely far. His 2L is zero on block, which makes it really good for a grappler. He has really good frame traps, his 5H always frame traps, and it's really big, it goes really far. His 5L is kind, his 5L isn't that good, but it's still a decent poke, because you can go into 5L at the 2L, which is zero on block, and end your string like that. Uh, his 5S is a good stagger tool, because he has one of the only 5S where you can just um, just keep going with it or you can stop at any time you're minus a lot but it's the mind game you could play where you just keep going or you just stop so you just do that and then you five the 5h five which I mentioned was a frame trap earlier it becomes very useful the numbers anti air game is also really good which I can show right now if I set the opponent to counter attack super dash and if they try to super dash me while I'm in the air, not a good idea because I can J2H, which is a recent buff that was given to him, Dispatch. So it becomes really good. His 2H is also very good at being the farthest, the, uh, the highest reaching 2H in the game and the flex key blast because it's sword property just like 5H. You see if you look, it'll say, it'll, his 5H always says key blast, invo, invincibility to key blast. His assists are also really good. It's very like, he has assists for almost every team in the game. So his assist here, which is uh, his key blast, his A assist, is really good because it tracks. This one tracks, so if I were to do something like that, it would track all the way to where the opponent was, which is really, really good. Obviously, they can super dash through it, but, you know, that's the mind game you have to play with the assist like that. His assist, his B assist, which I believe is his best assist, um, Demonic Blade, which is his 236L, and it almost goes full, it almost goes half screen. It goes about half screen. And then it's about 30 frames of block stun. Let me take him off with Super Dash. We can see the block stun on the, on the assist. So, 29 frames of block stun, and 25 frames startup. And something that this assist that almost no other assist does is that it's another key blast invol assist. Like so, since he has a sword, you'll notice that most sword attacks, if not all sword attacks, become uh, key blast invol. So if I were to do this, he's the key blast will bounce off him every time. If I call it correctly, I'm calling it too early, <laughs> but. If I call it correctly, oh my god, I had to be spaced. There, you see that he gets um, it gets deflected. So, against a character like Frieza, which has the most key blasts in the game, it's very important to have an assist like that if you're gonna fight against a character like this. But yeah, so now let's go to a C assist. Me, I'm not a personal believer in C assist. But I believe that it can still be good because they offer stuff like this. Where you get a full screen conversion. And his C assist in particular is plus a lot. Let's see. Let's see exactly how plus it is. It is exactly plus 55. So that means you can, you're can you able to jail a 50-50 block string because you're so plus. So I don't believe in much C assist. But his C assist does have its values. So you, it is. It wouldn't be a terrible idea to run that CSS. 
Alright, now then, guys, we're gonna go on to block strings, pressure, etc. Stuff like combos, everything you'll need, you'll need to know to open somebody up. So, when you're doing stuff with Janemba, his pressure will most likely do with teleport and or his 2L or his command grab. His command grab is extremely fast, 20, 20 frames, it goes 20 frames, and it goes really, really far. So, like, right here, it, it goes extremely far, and it's really hard to see. So, that starts to do a lot of special guy. His cross-up is also really fast, since he uses JL. Most cross-ups don't use JL, so it's not as fast, but th this cross-up is extremely fast because it uses JL. Now let's go let's go on to his combos. So first we're gonna start with his basic rejump combo. Which as soon as I find the recording for it. Okay, his basic rejump combo is gonna go a little like this. That's the that's the side switch version. I personally like that version. It's cool to me, but you know, you know how to use it. I would though. This one is his normal version, which also does about the same damage really good combo now this combo is extremely i wouldn't say it's extremely difficult but it is a lot more challenging than most combos in this game so here i'll let you look at it for yourself so allow me to explain this combo to you because I feel like this is the most important combo to explain. So first you're starting off with a typical 2M, 5M. Which obviously, you know, most combo starters will start with that. But then it gets a little tricky. Janamba does J2H and then does J214H. But to get this J2H to hit the way I'm hitting, which you might have trouble with, is you have to super jump. You have to activate, you have to super jump and then do it. So you see the lines that are happening when I jump, you have to super jump and then do it. So when you do that, it'll look a little like that. So you'll know if you messed up if the S doesn't come out. So like there, you could tell that I, I messed up because the 5S, the J5S did not come out there. So that means I did not have enough time in the air. That part I did correctly. So once you get that part down, you are able to 5LL into another another B and B and then you go into the combo ender like I did before. So allow me to show you the recording once more. So that combo will give you at least 5k. You could get more. It's harder though, but it is possible to get more damage than that. So that has to do with his combos so now that we're done with his combos those those are the most most important combos you have to learn eventually you will learn the combos from sword which is typically his bnb you cannot do that it's typically his bnb so maybe something like this i keep messing up So something like that. And then that's pretty much all the combos you need to learn off of. If you get a EX command throw in the corner, it will also look around the same. You won't get the same amount of damage, but you will look around the same. Let's go on to the character's strengths and weaknesses. A character's strengths, a, a character like this strength lies in the fact that he is able to control the space really well. So, allow me to explain what I mean by that. Back a, a little before, I showed off the properties of Janemba's assist, but I never showed the actual move. Allow me to show the move that Janemba uses, which he uses for his assist, which is his 2 his 236H. Apparently, it does not work on Janemba. That is good to know. So, let's bring out let's bring out Vegito. Now I know y'all y'all are excited to see some Vegito at their friends, so you know you're gonna see a lot of them online, so you're gonna have to find out how to beat them with this character. So something like this gets absorbed by that very easily. 
because it is frame one. This is frame one. Look, look how late I can do this. Let me see. I did that so late, but I'm still able to counter. This is his 2-2-S. His 2-2-S is a projectile counter, but it also has another property, which it can counter assist, which is very interesting. We'll get onto that in a second. Now, another another thing that um, Janemba can do that really hurts Vegito, he can deflect with his sword, if I can get it correctly. It's a little tight of a timing, but you'll see that I can deflect the sword. I can deflect the key blast with my sword and get a full combo, which is very nice. Now let, let's go on. To remember when I said I, we can counter assist? Now, before you weren't able to counter every assist in the game, you can only counter projectile assist. But now you can counter physical assist if I'm able to show that off. Uh, we get UI Goku C assist and tell we make a recording to call it. So let's make a recording like that. Man, now we save that recording and look at that. I ate UI Goku, yum, yum. delicious. I ate UI Goku and then I jailed him into a full screen block stream, which is really good because this right here frame traps. So if they ever want to move. And you don't think you want them to move? You don't let them move. Like that. Uh, this move will only most likely be used in combos and or pressure. It is not very good in neutral. Because it takes a really long time to get around. And it goes away if I block anything. So look at that. Uh, I did not block that. I just got hit. But look, if I block that, it goes away. Now, let's go on to his Oki. His Oki is very important. It, it's going to be the way you most likely mix somebody after you get, let's say, a command grab or you just hit him with a teleport mix. So, okay, I'm doing a normal BNB. I do, I do a normal. Uh, I don't do a normal BNB, apparently. Now I do a normal BNB. I do a normal BNB. And then I level three. Now. The greatest part about his level 3 is that it, act is, it becomes a 50-50. So I go cross up and I take the corner or I can go same side right here. So I can go same side and it becomes a mix up. Very, very hard to see. I don't think it is reactable and it's especially not reactable if you add stuff like that in or this. His cross up is really, really good. His air buttons, uh, his air buttons are also really, really amazing to put somebody in block strings. So, if you wanted to do something like this, something like this, something, something really good, a double overhead, very hard to see. You can, you can almost get a triple overhead. It's this isn't really used much because it's not that good. But if you really want to trip somebody up. You'll hit him with that. Again, he mixes very well with assists. It's very hard to see this character when he does up does mix-ups. His grab goes a extremely far range, as you can see. This this grab is 24 frames. They sped it up last patch. But and now it's just really good. Before there was never a reason to use it, but now. Like, look how far this goes. This goes extremely far. Almost half screen, if not half screen. It goes half screen. Almost even goes further. Sheesh. Janama got some arms on that man. Sheesh. That is all for his pressure. His pre As you can see, his pressure is really good. And he puts you into a lot of mix-ups. Along with having a really good keep away game. And a really good full screen game. As you can see. Now, guys, be sure to subscribe to Dash Fights if you want more videos like the one now that is very informative. I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, once again, when you play this character, please be sure to reference some of the stuff I gave you. I hope that I can help. I will be in the comment section to answer 
almost any of your questions. If I am capable, if I is capable of my power, if I can do it, if that fights is able to do it, then they will do it. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope it was very informative. Be sure to subscribe and watch out for more videos from that fights. Thank you.